Hi, I'm just posting this video today as a correction to the previous video I posted on projection with ArcGIS. Uh, thanks to, to the nice comment on, uh, on LinkedIn. Uh, so I realized that I made, a, I made a mistake and I wanted to let you know, uh, uh, so I wanted to, uh, to apologize and let you know uh, what was the mistake and uh, what I should have uh, done. Uh, so basically, well, I was showing a change in shape and angles, but I made a mistake of choosing the defined projection where I should have rather uh, used the project tool. There is another way to do it. Uh, for example, I got this map of uh, of the world, and the current projection is the, the is the world geodetic system 84. So the one based on the on the GPS. And let's say that I want to change the, the projection. So I'm gonna I'm going to pick up uh, the Lambert projection. Okay, 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 two. Okay, and here you can see uh, you can see that the Lambert projection there is a uh, a change in the in the shape and the surfaces. Uh, and you can see that it keeps the angles and but alter the surfaces. So let's say now that you're dealing with one country and you want to choose uh, an appropriate uh, projection. What you could do is to uh, then just import uh, your shape file. So what you could do is to just go on Google Earth, click on View, you can add the grid, Tools, Option, you can change to Universal Transverse Mercator. and then pick up the, the UTM zone number 30 as most of the countries in the zone number 30. Uh, most of the time you will have to choose between the uh, UTM zone uh, for example 30N or S. So N stands for north and S for south. So to, just to, to, to find out which one you should take you just need to, to establish where you just need to, to find out if your country is in the North Hemisphere or the South Hemisphere. So now we can come back to our shape file and change the projection to an appropriate one. So, so this is a way uh, for choosing an appropriate coordinate system. Thanks again to uh, the comment on LinkedIn and uh, see you soon, bye bye.